the Texas family made a discovery that shouldn't exist. A modern hammer, inexplicably trapped inside stone, said to be older than the dinosaurs. The year was 1936. Max and Emma Hahn, out for a stroll near London, Texas, stumbled across a curious lump of rock by Red Creek. Cracking it open, they found something astonishing, a weathered, iron-headed hammer with a wooden handle locked inside a limestone concretion. But as the layers of this mystery unfolded, it became clear this was no ordinary tool, and its story would challenge the foundations of human history. The stone encasing the hammer was analyzed by geologists who dated it to the Ordovician period, over 400 million years ago. That's a time when trilobites ruled the seas, long before the first dinosaurs would ever walk the earth. Yet, inside this ancient matrix lay a hammer that seemed unmistakably modern. Measuring just six inches long, with a one-inch diameter iron head and a handle showing signs of petrification, the artifact defied conventional explanation. Chemical analysis revealed the hammerhead's composition, an extraordinary 96.6% .6 pure iron with traces of chlorine and sulfur. Such purity is unusual, even for late 19th century mining tools, which some critics point to as the hammer's likely origin. The partially fossilized handle hinted at mineralization over time, as if nature itself had tried to erase the boundaries between artifact and stone. So what are we left with? An out-of-place artifact caught between the certainties of science and the possibilities of the unknown. Some, like creationist Carl Baugh, have argued that the London Hammer's encasement in ancient rock proves the Earth is far younger than mainstream science claims. Others, examining the evidence with a skeptical eye, note that the Hammer's design matches tools used by miners in the late 1800s. They suggest an alternate theory. Perhaps the Hammer was dropped or discarded, and over decades, mineral-rich water slowly formed a limestone shell around it, creating the illusion of a prehistoric origin. Yet, the rock itself, the Lower Cretaceous Hensel sand member, dated at approximately 110 to 115 million years old, tells a more complicated story. Could a 19th century tool really be encased in stone so ancient, in a way that appears perfectly natural? Or is the concretion a geological trick forming rapidly in just a few decades under rare conditions. Science has not reached a consensus, and the hammer remains on display at the Creation Evidence Museum in Glen Rose, Texas, where it fuels ongoing debates about Earth's history. The London Hammer is more than an artifact. It's a riddle, a fulcrum between mainstream geology and the tantalizing possibility that our technological past is far stranger than we ever imagined. Every angle, chemical analysis, Mineralization, historical context, raises more questions than answers. Was this hammer truly forged in a forgotten epoch, or is its presence in ancient stone a testament to nature's power to confound our expectations? As we peel back the layers of this mystery, we're reminded that history is never as simple as we'd like to believe. For every artifact that fits neatly into the timeline, there are those that refuse to be explained. The London Hammer stands as a silent challenge, hinting at lost knowledge, impossible engineering, and the hidden technological secrets waiting to be uncovered in the bedrock of human history.